Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Nevin from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to look at WSUS Offline. And what this is, is Windows updates that you can download offline and then update a computer with totally offline. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but just recently Windows 7 has been horrible with unbelievably slow updates. And this is what I've used to get around that. This is the quickest, easiest way I've found to get around that. It's good to put one of these on a USB stick. Maybe have a few of them around if you're doing multiple systems. This is definitely faster than downloading automatically. And if bandwidth is an issue, then this is definitely, definitely, definitely what you should be going with. Just come over to uh, wsusoffline.net. I'll put that link in the description. But anyways, this is exactly what it looks like. And it's free. You can donate. Or you can just download directly. If you got money, if you're an enterprise, you really should donate. But uh, if you're not, and you just need this for home for a few things here and there, you're not making a whole bunch of money, then uh, just click on the download. Come over to the most recent versions. And download. So that part's quick. All right, so once we download and decompress that, then this is what we end up with right here. So first of all, come right into this root directory and go to update generator. This thing's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you basically, what would you like to download with this exactly? Would you like Windows 7 uh, 32-bit or 64-bit? Uh, again, Windows 8, Windows 10. Remember, this is 8.1, not 8.0. If you have 8.0, you definitely want to upgrade as soon as possible. So hit the Office Packs, too. And they do have some legacy products. Interesting, they don't have Windows XP anymore. They did when I first started using this. And select all the things you want. Let's see, I should do Windows 7 Server, Windows 10, uh, I guess Windows 8.1. I work on those sometimes. And we'll start. Everything is going to download to that folder, to that root folder, wherever you put it. I definitely recommend you put this on a USB drive, but if you have a system that absolutely needs to be updated and is slow as heck, put it on the C drive. Now, honestly, this is going to take a while. Excuse me, this is where you want to go and get a coffee. So, we will see you soon. All right, so after what seemed to be about an hour, uh, the download finally finished. And this is what you come up with. Download is successful. Would you like to check the log for possible warnings? I will give you a warning that this can be kind of finicky sometimes. And I keep two of these on my desk. Because every now and then I run into one that just won't work. After after a major update comes for this, <clears throat> it sometimes it doesn't work. So I keep an older one around. <clears throat> and when it doesn't work, what happens is basically it freezes upon upon usage. You plug it in, you run it, and it hangs at one of two. And uh, I've had situations where I've waited all week and I come back to the office and this thing still hasn't worked. But hopefully yours will work for you and you won't have any problems at all. But <clears throat> So anyways, go to your folder that you have everything downloaded in. And to start this, go to Clients. Come on down to Update Installer. Yes, I want to run this. And then pick your poison. Basically, I like to hit Automatic Reboot and Recall. So that this, your system will automatically reboot and uh, bring the program back up, of course. And hit Start. And then all on its own, it will figure out exactly what you have what you need it'll go through everything install it automatically reboot pull it back up <clears throat> unless your password protected then it might not work perfectly but 
you just have to put the password in and it'll take care of itself otherwise. But yeah, this is definitely an awesome way that you can update offline, save you some time. This has saved me so much time. Put this thing on a USB key and every time you set up a system, you use one of these. It's perfect. I can't recommend it enough this thing has been in my tool belt for almost a decade now and you just got to use it if you want to put your pro pants on this is what you need anyways like and subscribe if you like these tips if you like this kind of stuff and uh yeah good stuff catch you later guys have a good one